All right, I'm fortunate enough to be here with Jalen. She was picked out by everybody in the booth. Said, I have to talk to this one person right here. So evidently, you're, you know all about these fans, don't you? I do. I've, been, awesome. I've grown up with them. Really? So I noticed that your sister was here. Yes. So is this a family company? Yes, it is. Really? My grandfather and my father invented the product, and uh, my brother works in the operations, and I'm marketing, and my sister's HR. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, there's some contention now that I was swung by this booth earlier, and I mistakenly started using another name uh -huh. for these fans. Yes. And now you're saying that you're a family relative of the person who invented, who designed these. Yeah. So now, give me some explanation, give me some background. What are these dates here? When did, when did this fan, do you know? Was it years ago, <laughs> you know? I heard there was some contingent with the competitor. So you guys are the original, I'm yes. taking it. Yeah, um, we invented it in the 90s, around 98, but actually Macro Air started in the 2000s, in 2002, 2003. Um, but yeah, it's it was a different company. We renamed it, um, and so yeah, that's okay. So Macro Air. Yeah. Now tell me, what kind of facilities use such big fans uh, like these? What kind of facilities use that? Um, large warehouses, industrial applications, um, commercial applications. There's car dealerships, dairies. Right. It actually started in the dairy industry. My and grandpa was approached by um, a, the agriculture. Institute of, of Riverside All right. in California. And uh, the dairy cattle, when they get too hot, they don't produce milk. So really? they that's interesting. Yeah, so, so the solution was? This is, this is what came from that. That's, that's <laughs> pretty awesome. Tinkerer, both he and my dad are like tinkerers, and they just build stuff. And yeah. the guy knew my grandpa, and so they came to him and said, do you have a solution? And they worked on it and worked on it, and that's this is the end product eventually. That's awesome. yeah. Now, me being a controls person, I deal with air conditioning all day long. Okay. So here I'm going to say, well, why not just put an air conditioning system in there and just cool the whole place down, maintain temperature? Well, it's not energy efficient. Um, we we really try to be very, very energy efficient. We actually could uh, come in and eliminate ducting. It works really well in conjunction with air conditioning. Air so conditioning, how do you get ducting with a big fan? It, ducting just distributes the air. We can distribute the air the same way. Really? So how do you encapsulate the fans somehow? Or? You just put them in, you shoot the air out. Okay. And it just mixes the okay, air, so destratifies. It helps helps distribute the cold air that's already coming out of, say, a grill on a yes. wall or something yeah. like and that. Yeah, and then we reverse the fan, put it in reverse in the winter. It'll pull all that heat from the ceiling Push down to the people. See, now I have that in the in my house. I'm sure anybody else has got a ceiling fan. I, I don't personally use it, but it, I'm sure when you get to the size of some of these fans, yeah, and it's going to make a difference. Facilities. When you have tons of heat up there, if you have a giant facility, it's better to be 74 than, you know, so like where we're at 80s. now, we're, we're probably looking at like a 20, 30 foot ceiling mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all the time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good luck with Thank the rest you. of the week. Thank you. All right, we look take care. To it.